In today's Real Animals YouTube tip, I want to talk to you about jig head selection. You know, you talk to guys and they say, you know, hey, what are you catching them on? And they come right back at you and say, well, we're catching them on a jig head and a paddle tail or a jig head and a rat tail, a little john or whatever. There's a lot of different jig heads out there and there's jig heads for different applications. So today I'm going to run you through selecting the right jig head for the right application. A lot of you might not even know that there's all these options out there, but there's some great options out there and I'm going to show them to you. Jig head selection, a lot of different applications for jig heads and there's a lot of different jig heads on the market. So I'm going to start with something we use. I use predominantly in the winter time, sometimes in the summertime too, depending on what we're doing. But this particular jig head's from Gamagatsu, an old partner of mine. I'm, I'm not tied to a hook company right now, but uh, I used to be many years ago with Gamagatsu and I found this guy right here. It's actually called the Cobra, they call it the Cobra 27. And if you'll notice, the hook on this thing is real small. This is a quarter ounce with a size one hook. Okay, so makes it really, really great for, uh, I, I like to tail hook shrimp with this, fish it up underneath docks, fish it on some shallow rock piles and things like that for sheep's head. Works really good in the summer if you're using real small pilchards or thread fins, if you're fishing for mangrove snapper around bridge pilings or around markers uh, in deeper water. So again, you'll, you'll notice, and, and there's a bunch of different companies that make these, uh, Berkeley makes one, this is an eighth ounce on a one knot. Again, super small hook. Uh, I've got a bunch of those as well. I think that's a great jig head. These things are really, really good. You know, you can sometimes even find places that pour their own. This one here is from B&M Bait and Tackle up in Jacksonville. I was filming a sheephead show up there with Steven Crowder and he was using these and I, I had him pick me up a couple of bags just so I had them. Again, it's on a really, really small hook which works really good for sheephead, mangrove snapper, things like that with small mouth frames that kind of, you know, snap at baits, eat them rather quickly. This is a great, great jig head for that application. Now, if you were going to go out onto the flats and fish for snook, redfish, trout, uh, you know, cobia, uh, throw jigs around rock piles for grouper or any of that kind of stuff, you know, this little bitty hook would not be how you want to go. Strike King, the Redfish Magic Jig Head is phenomenal. Uh, comes in a lot of great sizes, a lot of great colors, even lead colored. Lead colored jig heads are really my favorite. I prefer to fish with a lead colored jig head about 90% of the time, but this has got a great hook. You'll notice big hook, wider gap, longer shaft. So you get less short strikes if that shaft is longer. If that shaft is too short, you know, you'll get some fish that just tap at the, the back end of the bait and you'll miss some. So it's got a good hook keeper on it. Always check the hook keepers and make sure those are, are good and sturdy and are going to grab those baits and hang on to them. Strike King makes a really good jig head. This works really good with paddle tails, uh, with mirror lure little johns, things like that. Those soft plastic baits, it's a great option. Mirror Lure makes one as well. Uh, they make some great jig heads. Got a much more aggressive hook keeper on it on the Mirror Lures, which I do like. Helps you from getting that bait pulled down off there. The hook gap is not quite as big and the shaft isn't quite as long. Not necessarily a bad thing, just depends on the size of the bait that you're fishing with. If you're fishing with, you know, five inch baits, then I want as much jig head length as I can get. I want it to be a little bit longer. If I'm fishing with three inch baits, two and three quarter inch baits, small paddle tails, uh, winter time, uh, maybe summer time when there's a lot of fry bait, a lot of small bait around, so you're throwing a small presentation, this mirror lure jig head works great. Again, these are things that you have to pay attention to if you're throwing jig heads, there's a lot of different applications. One other jig head I wanna show you here which is again in the mirror lure line, you'll notice it's got a little longer shank on it than the other mirror lure jig head I showed you. And this is the mirror lock jig head. And what it does is it's got that wire on here, that wire twist. And when you put that bait on there, you twist it around here a couple of times and it's a really, really great locking, locks the bait on there jig head. So. Again, different applications to different things. If you're going through a lot of baits, you're getting a lot of short strikes, a lot of fish pulling your baits loose away from your 
your hook keeper that comes on a lot of the other jig heads, then you're gonna wanna go to something with this locking system on it. Just makes more sense. Much harder to pull that bait off there. So different jig heads, different situations, different applications. You know, they make jig heads really, really big brawny ones. I got one right back here that we use to, uh, to film a show up in Crystal River. You know, big giant head on it, one ounce ounce and a half leads that, that need to get way down in 20, 30 foot of water. Maybe you're working the jetties up in Mayport, Jacksonville area, something like that, where you want to bounce a jig head down the shoreline or down that jetty. And, and you're working that rock edge and you have really big redfish in there, man, you're going to need a really big, strong hook on a great jig head. This is by Berkeley. It's a great, just a monster jig head. Worked really great. We caught a bunch of big snook with Danny Allen up in uh, up in Cedar Key with this particular uh, setup right here. So again, make sure you've got the right jig head for the application you're trying to do. You'll have more hookups and catch more fish. Hopefully some of that helped you guys out. Again, jig head selection is really, really paramount if you, if you like to throw artificials like I do. Even sometimes I'm using live bait, like I said, on the snapper, the sheep's head, things like that. You may be throwing those smaller you know, size one, size one out hooked jig heads. So a lot of great applications for jig heads. Just got to make sure, you know, that you have a bunch to choose from. It's a good reason to go shopping to make sure your tackle box is loaded with a good variety. Thanks for checking out the Real Animals YouTube page. And uh, we appreciate you. Stay tuned here for more great tips.